On Friday, May 11, 2012, the Toronto Police Service Holdup Squad hosted a press conference to announce six arrests and an armored truck robbery investigation. Lee Ming, 27 of Whitby, and a firearm is still outstanding, as well as one other suspect involved. If you have any information, please contact the Toronto Police or Crime Stoppers anonymously. And thank you very much for attending this early uh, news uh, press conference. Uh, as you heard yesterday morning at 6 a.m., members of the organized uh, crime enforcement uh, executed 12 search warrants in residences in York, Durham, and Toronto. The, uh, the investigation was directed by members of the holdup squad, at which time numerous people were, were arrested in relation to the garden robbery that occurred on the 18th of November 2011, just before 10 p.m. Uh, yesterday's date, uh, we had uh, assistance from York Regional Police, along with Toronto Police Services Emergency Task Force Unit. All seven teams were deployed, along with teams from the Durham and Peel Region. Also assisting in the investigation yesterday were members from 42 Division 41 and 33 Division Major Crime Units. As of yesterday morning, we arrested 14 individuals. Six of them are now charged with this armored car robbery. At this point, I'd like to thank the media and the public for their assistance in pointing us in the right direction. It's because of the previous press conferences and news releases that we conducted after the 18th November robbery. Information was provided by the public that focused us in the right direction on the individuals responsible for this crime. As a result of an almost six-month investigation by members of the Hold-Up Squad, the six individuals are now charged with a series of offenses in relation to the robbery where the two guards were held at gunpoint on that day, November 18th. The six individuals face conspiracy to commit robbery charges, robbery, wearing a disguise, and also firearm-related charges. During the search warrant yesterday morning, one of the guards' guns that was taken in the robbery, a Glock 17, was recovered during one of the searches. Also recovered during the searches yesterday was over 800 grams of cocaine, 240 grams of crystal meth, along with approximately 200 grams of ketamine. Other individuals, seven other individuals, not directly related to the robbery, but related to these individuals, are charged with a number of offenses relating to conspiracy to traffic narcotics, conspiracy to traffic firearms, along with possession for the purpose of narcotics and proceeds of crime. The individuals that we're still looking for are depicted in this screen next to me. There's a white male who rented the van approximately two weeks prior to the robbery on the 18th of November. This individual is directly related to the, the robbery suspects that were arrested yesterday. We still have not been able to identify this individual by his proper name, but we're looking for the public's assistance in identifying him. The other individual is Lee Ming. Lee Ming goes by the aliases of Jason Smith and Anthony Lee. His street name is Legal. Yesterday morning, we executed a search warrant at his residence in Whitby, at which point in time he was not present. We've uh, tried in the late hours of the evening in locating Mr. Ming. We were unsuccessful. A warrant for his arrest will be taken out today for accounts of the robbery and conspiracy to commit robbery in relation to this armored car. Mr. V Ming, we believe, is armed and dangerous. He is one of the individuals that we believe was on the ground who put guns to the guards and removed the guns from the guards on that date on the 18th of November. We are still also looking for one Glock 17 that is outstanding from this robbery. Again, I'd like to thank the public and the media for their assistance in helping us solve this crime. During the robbery investigation, our partners from Garden were very resourceful and assisted us in coming to the successful conclusion that we did. Following is a message of thanks to Toronto police officers in French and English from Garda. Bonjour, mon nom est Yves Liopel. Je suis le directeur de la sécurité corporative pour Garda au niveau du Canada. Donc aujourd'hui, on a assisté à une conférence de presse euh, faite par euh, les crimes majeurs de la police de Toronto avec l'inspecteur euh, Michael Earl. Donc euh, ce matin était une heureuse conclusion d'une enquête. Euh, une enquête euh, qui s'est conclue hier avec l'arrestation de, de plusieurs individus. Plusieurs de ces individus-là ont été impliqués dans un vol qualifié à laquelle la compagnie Garda a été victime en 
novembre dernier, en 2011. Donc, euh, c'est avec mes premiers propos, je serais d'un remerciement. Le remerciement euh, de la, du service de la police de la ville de Toronto, et plus particulièrement au niveau de ses enquêteurs, au niveau des crimes majeurs, qui se sont investis énormément à la résolution de, cette, de cet événement. Donc, euh, ils n'ont ménagé aucun effort euh, et à laquelle nous avons pu collaborer pour en arriver à une conclusion euh, et de faire les arrestations hier et tous ces individus-là pour faire face à une querelle d'accusation au niveau des tribunaux. Si je pourrais également rajouter qu'aucune euh, aucune complicité n'a été décelée au cours de cette enquête à l'interne au niveau de Gartan. Donc, il n'y a eu aucune piste, il n'y a aucune information qui a pu découler euh, à, une, à cette organisation criminelle qui a abouti à ce point. Donc, aucune implication et euh, je pourrais également euh, vous informer que nos deux agents qui ont passé à travers un épisode euh, assez traumatisant, vous comprendrez, en novembre dernier, d'être victimes de vol qualifié euh, armé à bout portant, euh, se portent bien. Ils sont euh, de retour au travail déjà depuis euh, quelques mois, mais dans des tâches administratives. Donc c'est important pour la compagnie également d'appuyer d'encadrer ses, ses employés et de les assister dans leur retour euh, graduel euh, au travail. Donc, les employés vont bien, ils sont dans les tâches administratives, je me répète, mais quand même, euh, ils se portent bien. Merci. Hello, everyone. My name is Eve Riepel. I'm uh, the uh, Corporate Security Director for Garda for Canada. This morning, we all witnessed a press conference given out by the Toronto Police Service and uh, Staff Inspector Michael Earl. Now, uh, it was aimed to, uh, to inform uh, the public, the general public, about uh, multiple arrests that happened yesterday. Uh, many of those arrests were uh, in view of, uh, of accusations towards a theft in which Garda was involved last November in 2011. Now, uh, Mr. Earl, with all, his, uh, all the different details, which I would like to thank very much. Uh, the, all the major crime, the hold up, the hold up squad, in which uh, they, uh, they definitely uh, worked relentlessly in resolving this, uh, this crime. So uh, my, my, first, my first words would, would be to thank the Toronto Police Service for their involvement in the conclusion of this uh, lengthy investigation, taking off of the streets all these dangerous individuals uh, in which uh, venue themselves into attacking uh, our armored car. So uh, I'd like to state that uh, for, for Garda, uh, there was, like Mr. Earl said, no inside involvement inside of our own company. So this was a planned operation in which everything is going to be uh, put, put in place in, in a future court trial. But uh, it is important to state that Garda was not involved in any point in time with an inside uh, or inside information. Now, uh, I could add that our two uh, guards, our two armed guards that were victimized the last November are, are going, are doing well, they're gradually uh, coming back to work. Uh, as you can understand, they've uh, been through a very traumatizing experience and uh, they're uh, as we speak, uh, affected to uh, administrative tasks, but gradually coming back uh, to, uh, to full work. So uh, once again, uh, Garda is, is, uh, is very pleased to, and uh, thankful to the Toronto Police Service for all their involvement in the conclusion of this very important investigation that uh, was aimed at a very serious, very serious crime. 